Hello and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today, the 6th of October 2013. Today's episode is going to be a recap of the major bits of news that happened last week. Basically, it just sort of gets everyone up to speed at the end of the week because I don't expect you all to go and watch, like, I don't know, an hour or something of WoW Dailies. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, first of all, we have the world first stuff. Now, the race is now finished on both 10-man and 25-man difficulties. Or sh I should probably say player to be more politically correct. Um, so, yeah, Paragon have just killed 10 Heroic, and the interesting thing is they actually one-healed the damn thing, because I'd assume that at their gear level it actually would have been impossible to two-heal it, and it took them around 600 attempts, which is absolutely bloody insane. Now, after that, or, well, actually before that, Method killed 25 Heroic, so once again, Europe wins and try harder Blood Legion. Shots fired. Now, on to other things. So, Heart of the Storm. This was a trademark that appeared in, I think, the New Zealand Trademark Office a while ago, I'm pretty sure it's uh, found its way onto it, a few others, though, since. Now, this is a trademark from uh, from Blizzard, and there's a few different things that it could be, so I'll go through all their different properties and say what I think. So, for a World of Warcraft expansion, I don't think this is likely. Expansion names tend to go after the villain, so Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, Cataclysm, Mists of Pandaria. It's either the villain or the kind of villainous event or the one of the problems. Even in Mists of Pandaria, the Mists would still kind of, in a way, um, sort of come up with that. So yeah, I definitely don't think it's World of Warcraft. And anyway, what is the storm? Like, all our lore has been pointing towards stuff like, I know, either the Dark Below or the Legion comes back with Rathian. Things like that. So yeah, I don't think it's a World of Warcraft expansion. Now next up, Diablo 3. Nope, it's not because Reaper of Souls was just announced and they can't put in a copyright way too early because for a copyright um, trademark kind of thing, you need to actually use it or else it's not really worth anything. For Diablo, no, not for Diablo, for StarCraft 2, it's probably not, because we know the next expansion is going to be um, Legacy of the Void or whatever, the Protoss one. So it's definitely not StarCraft 2, and also that would give them two expansions with the acronym uh, HOTS, which would be kind of shitty. Now next up, Blizzard All-Stars. A lot of people suspect that it could be a rebrand of Blizzard All-Stars. And thing you have to remember about these, and a lot of these Dota-like games, is that they're all like heroes of something, like Heroes of New Earth, Heroes of the Storm, League of Legends. Yeah, they're all kind of naming systems like that, so I suppose it could make sense. Some people think that it could be a Hearthstone expansion. I don't think this is true at all. The Hearthstone team previously said that even after the game's release, they'd be looking at a 6-12 to 12 month window where they wouldn't be adding any major expansions or anything like that. They'd just be probably maintaining the game, doing a few updates and things, stuff like that. So I think that's fair enough, that's the best way to launch the game and make sure it's solid. I don't think they should just start tacking on expansions as soon as they uh, launch the damn thing. And next up, some people think that it might be a new game from Team 5, and I actually think this is a very solid possibility. The naming scheme for Heroes of the Storm doesn't really fit in perfectly with um, a lot of things. It probably fits in with Blizzard All-Stars, which was previously called Blizzard Dota. It probably fits in with that the best, but uh, how do you know? So, the next part of, uh, part of news is the Warcraft movie. This is going to be releasing on the 18th of December, 2015. It's made by Legendary Pictures, directed by Duncan Jones, and it has Colin Farrell and Paula Patton built to be in it. Now, I'm not too sure about Paula Patton. Um, I've seen her in some, well, I mean, doing IMDB. Don't worry, I haven't actually seen these shit movies. She's been in a bunch of rom-coms and shit, so that does not appeal to me whatsoever. But Colin Farrell is fantastic, so that could be good. And finally, the budget is rumoured to be north of 200 million, which is an insane amount of money. It's a little bit more than I make from YouTube, you guys, just a little bit. Ah, so next, BlizzCon 2013 goodies have been announced. And in World of Warcraft, you can get a Crusader-themed Warlock, with the Crusader being the new class in Diablo 3, the Reaper of Souls. In Diablo, you get a banner. In StarCraft 2, you get a decal and a portrait. And finally, in Hearthstone, you will get a special card. What the card is? Hell if I know, because they haven't said yet. Now, for um, some other stuff, they recently teased a new Hippogriff mount on their Facebook page. As to what this mount is, well, I don't really know. I don't think anyone knows. It could be in the Blizzard store. I'd really hope that it isn't, though, because it's it's nice to get sort of cool new items that are available in-game. And right now, in terms of ultra special mounts, it's, you know, it's, it's like a... Um, a lot of the ones in this expansion are just re, uh, like reskinned Cloud Serpents, which is kind of shit. And uh, finally, I, I found a great theory on this mount from uh, 
good old Silas from the comments, who you may probably recognize. So he says that clearly the emerald green in the new mount refers to the emerald dream, and the color gets darker as it goes down, referring to the dark below. That has antlers, similar to Roman coins, which showed up, um, which showed the men wearing plants in their ears that resemble antlers. Many Roman soldiers were called legions. Plus, orange in the mount looks like fire, hence burning, confirming the legion's return. And all three of these clearly indicate that Half-Life 3 has been confirmed. So there you go. He is the, um, the third eagle of the apocalypse and the co-prophet of the end times. And with that, the show is done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.